Welcome back to Casino Sochi. Event number seven now underway, the 50k short deck. So, Jason Kuhn on this feature table starting things off oh, down the bottom. Real bad. Yeah. So Jason there, a little over 40% in short deck with his ace queen versus queen. This is where my ship turns around, Sam. Right. I'm going to turn this ship around. Because you're going to bust and avoid the virus? Yeah, that could that could be turning around too. Busting and going and quarantining myself in my hotel room. No. Well. All right. All right. No busting just yet. A six Nine, seven. Eight, like a hundred percent of the time here. I have to wait. Oh, he's got the, the heart, flush. The heart comes in. And the one out of. It comes a red card. Ninety four. But it's safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a flip. Oh, I want to win here. Ace seven seven. Really has not been Jason's week so far. Still does have that. Well, re-entry in this, but more importantly, the 250k super high roller ball to come. The flips just keep on coming. Oh, Ace pops out. So does a queen. Stevie takes a commanding lead in this one. And is off to a great start. Up to 350k with his two 100k bullets behind. Well, both players miss queen, queen, 10. It's a board that Stevie can definitely have, though, as of course can Phil. Phil bets 30 in the hope that Stevie has a hand just like this. Without filling the pot, I think Stevie would probably go ahead and raise this and just get it in before anything scary comes. With filling the pot, may just call. Cool. Allow Phil to maybe make a mistake. He does decide to just pop it up. <clears throat> I don't think Sam's going to enjoy it, but he's going to be moving in. And does fine against plenty of the strong hands that Stevie has. Apart from this one. I have any money on me. Stevie killing this table. Yeah, Ivan's uh, radar going off here, but the thing is, Ivan's actually got, he's got like a middling hand, like kind of a good hand, not... Right. I and mean, so like I say, Phil, Phil's not trying to do this to most people. The limp, the limp jam with Ace Jack for, you know, uh, 75 anties, right? But against Ivan, he's going, you know what? The thing is, in the short deck, it's like, it's Ivan's got those blue chips behind. Yeah. It's a rebuy. It's Phil Ivy. It's fun. It's like, you know, what, how bad could it really be? I mean, he can't fold now for 220, right? No, I don't not in think this game. so. Yeah, Ivy's going to have kings, you know. Ace right. Jack does fine. I mean, there's just no hand you can fold to other than aces. It's getting nearly two to one. Right. And Ivan's not afraid to see five. But wow. He decides against it. We have seen Ivan make some folds. He likes wow. to make aggressive plays and then he's smiling. I'm sure they battled Wow. Around. I'm really surprised. But I mean, just in short deck, in, no, no, hold on, I get it. But in short deck, you just can't fold there. The funny part is he, oh, he's got 150, right? So he's not folding the mm -hmm. jack 10. Snap call jack 10 fold the ace <coughs> jack. Yep. A little different scenario, but still. Nearly a flip though, Jeff. Yeah. Just mine. Mine. I'll take Jack 10. How about that? Even though we saw Paul. Paul won an important ace queen to ace jack today. The final three. The day of the ace queen changing this is, my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's on my team. It's it's moving in the right direction. Phil likes that flop. He's going to love that turn. It's going to put the hundo percent up. Little check mark. And then Ivan is going to be throwing one of those chips in. 
Look at these hands. This is actually your hands doing fantastic. They're all sharing cards. You got the low end of the board. I actually would like to see a call here. To be fair, though, he has no lammers behind. And is he going to put in, you know, it's a 50K rebuy. He, he, this would, I, I like, I mean, if you saw the hands, you would call. I guess nine seven. Nine seven. So that might actually talk him into a call, 9-7. I mean, if 9-7 thinks he should call, maybe 9-10, definitely a call. This is actually bad news if he puts it in for these guys. Four people all in. Everyone would be like, what, what is going on here? Okay, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Great, I love this what, call. Nine, ten, ace, ace, ace Jack. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ace King. Oh, nine ten, I like way more than Ace Jack. Ace Jack. Oh, this is great. Oh, no. wow. Nine ten might be a favorite, what a right? I'm gonna make a flop. What a call. Good job. Oh, the King Queens are in favorite. really bad shape. Right, I'm gonna hit like Ace yeah. the favorite. Queen flop. Can I, to be that's safe? incredible. Anyone take an odd? I bet on ten nine. Yeah, he's the favorite. Sure. Yeah. It says it says actually highs, which I'm not sure why. Oh, Nobody. Man. Seven, nine, ten. Ace high. King. Yeah. Ace. Just for the king. Ace. Now you need a six. Seven. Ooh. Oh, queen. No one has oh, no, 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 jack no. too. Oh my ten. goodness. I, I think it's jack. I think it's jack. Zero percent for king. Why is king zero? King would be. Oh, is it a? There it is. Nine, ten. All of it. I love this game so much. He's cute. Like an awesome game. He does scoop. Yeah, he scoops. <laughs> Why can't he pay the board? So now I'm gonna have 20 entries two again, and I'm two gonna be all in again. Two, you had two outs for the chop. That's pretty yeah. miserable. It's my hand to the table, I guess. Yeah, you're all right. He's only got yeah, one. that one. I feel good about. Yeah, he's only got one out after you hit. <laughs> <laughs> Is pure 60 40 with me being suited? I think maybe a little better than 40. Now it's better than 40. Lip. And uh, Kuhn needs some help. Oh, here go. Ten of hearts. Oh, there it is. is. Okay. Ninety. Kuhn gets a fortunate river card, but King Queen suited to Queens. It's just not that big of a favorite. Yeah, one last time I'm winning. You'd rather be against the Queens. Yeah. Mm. That's a slow start. <laughs> Pretty bad. A lot of chops in this game. Mm. Ooh, can I can I sweat it face down? No, he doesn't know what you're saying. Ooh. All right. At least I got a sweat. Cool. That's good for you. It's a flip. People, you have S kick. Yeah, it's a flip, but. There's a seven. You're winning. Leading, eh? Give him a two pair. Seven. Two pair. King. Yes. Calls his cards out. Sorry. Man's running hot. Hot to dodge. <laughs> There's two bosses of the poker world, of, of just life right there. <laughs> Kerry Katz, the creator, founder of Poker Go, Poker Central, and Paul Hua, the man with the Triton series. So there is. Two of the guys. There you have chips left. Bringing the biggest high stakes action in the world right there, battling. Something had to give. It's level eight. It's yeah, hard. But level eight. But that's what I mean. What's fun about watching people just go all in with stupid hands and and double up? Like there's nothing fun about it. <laughs> like oh, one guy. What's happening? That's you know. It's like no different than watching like televised roulette. <laughs> what would be fun about that? Oh, let's see if he holds. Time for you to win one. Yes. Good start. Oh. oh. Shit. Okay, chop. <laughs> Flush. So, ace jack to ten. Mm -hmm. Jason is looking good. He does get it done. Flat. Flat. Big money. Seventy. Yeah, I was uh, 
see some just ma massive hands with the with the 150k in the middle, queens and aces, two two big big hands. And deep stack though, this is where you get to see some poker executed, where it's not the 100k lammers or people just ripping in. And uh, Sam on a scary-ish board, still gonna go for value. Realizes Paul's probably weighted more towards those Broadway hands or maybe a hand like jacks or queens, and. Uh, Paul's got wheels are spinning here. How to play, how to proceed. Do you protect against a hand like ace king? Could you be up against jack 10 suited? Beating those hands, you're behind kings, behind aces. Just calls like this. I flashed. Okay, relevant card to the situation. King is shown. Makes it a little less likely as ace, king, or kings. Well, way less likely as kings. Ace, king, still, still a possibility. Paul checks over to Sam. Sam now, gotta love that card. You know, it's like, does he have nines or tens? Probably not. He, so it's sort of just confidently value betting here. Gonna check, raise all in, and well, Sam just fast call. Doesn't even think about it. Well. So. Paul. Threat me. Black queen. Asking for a black queen, not gonna get it. And uh, Paul, got a trophy today, can't be too upset. And Jason is a sl basically flipping slight dog, basically a coin flip. Fifty-one forty-eight, call it a flip. It is. Give me a set. <laughs> Jason now with the lead though. Give me a set. Not now. <laughs> He's got nine outs. One to come. Two to one favorite. Jason going to the river. Good luck. And uh, not gonna be, man. He is just getting the short end of these runouts. And he's almost just laughing about it, how ridiculous it's been. Pause the snap call. No, ace, eight, eight, something. Don't, don't come like, ace, eight, eight. No. Just give us a sweat. Wants a sweat, and he's gonna get more in the sweat. He's gonna take a pretty big lead down to Jack for the outs only. Does he have a seven? No. Oh my goodness, there he is. <laughs> Got Sam shot. snaps it in and he gets it. Why can Young gonna be out in 17th? Also, like you realize if the under the gun's not trapping, and if he is trapping with ace king, kings, aces, your hand plays all right, but decides to take a flop. I like that route. Pretty deep stage of the tournament too. 15 left out of 55. Yeah, but oh UTG, 500. Yin button maybe call. I'm going to say. Yin sub. Now, the other side of this is when you flop like this, it's kind of tricky to know where you're at. You have a weak top pair. You don't really want to let cards peel off. But what's a good situation for you? What's a good card? That's it. That's one you were thinking of. Now, if you're Webster, you may be thinking that John on the dealer button would go, would be betting his jacks for protection. So this is actually going to work out well for John with Webster going to be value betting slash protecting a hand that's drawing to 0%. And... Uh, 
Now John deciding if he wants to just call or does he start to put some money, more money in? Let's go for the call. Weak Jack, disguise trips, and Webster speeding here. And hello, what a run out that is. The quads, the dailies. We're getting here kind of the end of the day, I would imagine. We haven't seen quads today. There it is. The J for Jeff's out in the chat. I see a couple Twitch fellow friends there. And that is a quad. Backdoor quads the hard way. Pretty special hand. And, um, you know, John's just hoping he had kings or queens or aces. But Webster is going to value bet into the nuts. And those are going to be 85K chips he does not see back in this hand. And now... If you're John, I think you just have to shove, right? There's no, are you going to min raise to 170 with 260? It's just a, I think it's just a shove. And and uh, what bluffs does he have? Is he would bet queen king on the flop, probably bet queen nine on the flop. Is he going to raise a 10? I'll take a time bank here. And Webster's getting a little treatment here from the former main event champ. But I'm not sure whatever he does. He's thinking about going for a raise that's not all in. Discipline fold, quick fold, taps the table. Nice hand from, from John. This is where we end it. So let's go out with a bang. Michael Soyser leading the way, but look who's just behind him. Came second in the 50K short deck just a couple of days ago. Now in the mix once again. Second place once again. Phil Ivey, three and a half million in chips. Very deep this one. Seth Davies and uh, Sam Greenwood, the shortest. And this is how the payouts look today. So everyone currently guaranteed uh, $160,000, a little bit of change on top. Those CSU is effectively a, a US dollar, it's a casino Sochi unit, but we need not worry ourselves about that, it's basically a dollar. A good sign, all good. <coughs> Ivy under the gun, gonna complete, king queen. So go does the same with ace queen, how different yeah. this game plays than when we were last it's watching last night here. during the buy-in period still. Ten, nine, seven, couple of spades. Greenville on the button. That gut shot, straight draw, and nut spades. Both Phil and Sergei check it on over to him. And it's kind of a board that fits the button way more than the early position players. Two meals a day, bro. Oh yeah, you're itching to get after it, huh? What do you mean? Have you eaten yet today? No. Yeah, you just woke up. And you were hungry 15 hours ago. Oh, really? Actually, I feel okay. Yeah. Maybe like all my, my life of irregular meals is like, you know, paying his dividends. Yeah. <laughs> Used to not eating. Well, Sam goes with a small sizing, 65k. Mm. Wow. Phil calls with oh, king up. high, no draw, just the bear king of spades. Oh, pardon me, of course, a gut shot draw. Jack. Still. Just because you <laughs> position. You're still doing the coach shower thing. Yeah. You just go straight cold. Against that yeah. sizing, he decides yeah. he's okay taking it off with a gut shot, two overs. Sam <laughs> picks up a straight on the turn. Now checks back. And bingo on the end. Makes the nut flush. And Phil has a hand that I feel just has to. Bluff here, reasonable percentage. The, the pair up's not good. 
Uh, Sam's going to have some full houses. <laughs> but I mean, he's got the worst hand you can possibly have. And he can definitely have some jack X. He can definitely have flushes. How do you go to bed after that? So he does bet, and now, well, Sam, the old uh, Vegas and the Mirage comes to mind. He has the nut flush. And this will be an all-in, eventually. Be jamming for under pot. Full stop, there is no hot water, it doesn't exist. Yeah, just call the, the bar, yeah. <laughs> call the hotel, tell them to turn the hot water off. Just trying to piece together, perhaps, what bluffs you might have in this spot. He's going to take a bit of time with lots of hand in this situation, hence the use of the time bank. Of course, he's going to jam the nuts. Ivy with the fingers in the cookie jar. Call out early on our final table here in Sochi. Now I now I understand. I was confused. Ivy completing King Queen of Hearts in the hijack. So a guy with 10 9 in the cutoffs does the same. And Michael is going to check the very garbage looking ace 8 on the button. But it does have that all important position. King 7 6. A couple of clubs. Soizo with well, back doors. So a guy with the gut shot to the nuts. But Phil leads. Top pair. Queen kick and back door hearts. Michael Soizer, who's going to stab at this when check to it seems reasonable. 6-7, the lowest cards in the deck suit the man who checked back more than the guys who limped in. And he has a lot of cards he can continue to barrel on. I bet just 70k has been called by Ivy. And it's like I thought about it for a moment. Maybe trying to snap an eight off. <coughs> well, gin card for Ivy. He checks, and decision for Soizer now, of course. He knows Phil can have a king when he check calls flop. He can also put him on some draws. The issue is, he has the ace of clubs and he has an eight, so he blocks the draws. Waits Ivy back towards the pairs. And also, he's still ahead of those draws. So he does check back now. Things get interesting. Third king on the board. Ivy with quads. <coughs> now, really hard to imagine Phil's got a seven or a six from the hijack. He can, he can have the case king for sure. Oh, he goes for... A big bet in the end, 300. Soizer completes the cutoff with 10 7. Lee with 9 6 on the button. Knuckles. Phil now comes out of betting 150 on this ace check 6 board. No pair. He's a gush to Broadway, and of course, having limped in, has more of those stronger hands. Raises up for just 200k more. I feel is going to hang around here with Queen Jack of Diamonds. And wow, flops a flush draw on Ace A7. He does check it to Soiza, who do a little bit of both there, I think, with Queens. There's only one bad card in the deck for you. The King. There's no way it fills in there with a hand like 6, 8 or 8, 9. Doesn't have to worry about that wheel coming in. 
Queens, no diamond, seems like. A better candidate for a bet, and that's what he's done. Flush on the turn. Bill gets the check mark. Can't lose this one. Just shy of a million in the pot. Looks like he's going to come out with a lead. This, of course, is going to make Michael fold this hand, you'd imagine, but it'd be very hard for him to fold an ace. thinking long and hard about this one but it's really hard to put Phil on too many bluffs at this stage and if you are getting bluffed you just gotta let that one go. Tell him if he's yeah, let get rid of that. Sam completes seven eight uh, clubs in the cutoff Ivy with ace eight diamonds on the button. Alex to <laughs> see three cards and they're a pretty good three for him. Flops gut shot draw and the nut flush draw so he's a Queens Prepare open ender and of course blockers to the straight. Green with anyone to miss this board. Where's your next stop? Mm -hmm. Where's your next stop? I mean, is there ever going to be a next stop? Mm. Is there ever going to be a next stop? I know. I mean, hopefully Montenegro. Is. If you know, it can work. I don't. You don't think with the if Paul can get the testing kits that he wins? Ah, oh, spooky Paul about this. Yeah. He doubt you did. I don't know, like, depends how, how the wire is going on. Right, yeah. It's probably just going to be it's getting serious now in Europe as well. Yeah. It's probably like Barcelona and London. So realistically, the next time we're all going to play poker. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. What do you think? So as it does make the straight huh? on the do. turn after betting. I don't know, maybe just cash in. Ivy picks up a pair, but not one he wanted to see. Yeah. Still, though, has those diamonds. I look in so as it decides to check now. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think yeah. Phil okay. will be happy to check this one back. Not big times of tournament. It's going to face a check call a lot of the time from two pair plus, <laughs> and that might get him a little bit of trouble because he may well think he's just overtaken exactly those kind of hands. King Jack, King Ten, Jack Ten. I would much prefer to be like a, a cash grinder, but uh, for whatever reason here. Where are from? Like, which part that? The States? Yeah. Like, Northwest. Right. Like, Oregon. I don't know if yeah. Oregon's got a very smaller state. Either waste no time in checking back. Oh, there's a couple of people in there. Sees his man was trapping him. And he going up to 30k with 60 on the button. All still pretty deep. Green with the shortest 36 antis. So, the guy, Seth. Wake at all below 100. Sam plus two, king queen. It's down to about 35 antis. Alan. Alan. He does. Decide to push all the chips across the line. Uh, and well, Soiza on the button. I think he's going to call this one for a million. Two elbows. Yeah. 
Good woman. That same. Actually, King Queen. Me too. <laughs> I boiled. Hey, Jax. <laughs> so I got to indeed have uh, King so Queen as well. No, no, then we. The jacks. They just can't, they just can't be a ten. They just can't be a ten for the six, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. That's a spicy flop. I had to. Spicy. King, king nine things Queen good. Jack. Set for soy is a top okay, two for Greenwood. Draws, right? I had a king. That's the truth. <coughs> Do I want out? King queen. Put an ace out there. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> ace out there. Chop, chop. Correct. Right. Ten. No, it's not all right. Oh. Ten, ten for the chop. No sixes? No sixes? No ace. I had a ten. I had no idea. <laughs> Insurance? <laughs> chirping you over there. I did have a, ch I had a king and a ten. That's what I had. Still killing me over here. I wasn't lying. Greenwood out. Not able to find that one remaining queen that we now know is in the deck. Phil gets to see a free one on the button, 10-9. Queen, queen, jack, flop. Lee's jack is best. Ivy with the open and straight draw. And having that straight draw and the ten of hearts is license for him to bet. And hard for Lee to continue in a four way pot, does just give it up. Nice pick up for Phil. Three ninety. Well, that goes the other way, decides to raise it up. So go with Jax. Can't be loving the action so far. A limp from number one and a raise from the number two. Jax suddenly become that much weaker. He does have to just give them up. How much do you have? Roughly. Like 1.8. 2.8? 1.8. 1.8. Behind? Yep. Lee asks for a count and jams it and he gets the answer. Sub two million behind. Huge pickup for Lee. Two in a row, up to 3.7 million. I think Pete's plus one. Soy's in the cutoff. Do the same <laughs> with eight, nine off. And look at this. Lee going for the hat trick finds aces on the button. Just to rip it in. Huge sizing. Hence the two chip leaders. Two other chip leaders, I should say. He's in the mix now. Hmm. Better watch out. <laughs> Phil with ace ten of hearts in the hijack is going to make it 300. Sergo with ace queen behind is going to jam. He has 1.2 million. Phil asked for a count. Look at the news. It's 9.60 more to win 1,700. Hard to see him fold in this one win. Of course, this is one of the worst spots for him being up against bigger race, but he can be up against big pocket pairs, much closer to even. Can, of course, be up against how much King Queen suited as well. This. Phil counting out that call. Cool. 
That's two million behind. If he doesn't win the pot. So I will take it. 2.6 million chip pot. It's a big favourite. Well, at least a big favourite for this game. Ten, nine, seven. Ivy takes the lead. So you're needing a runner, runners, or a queen. Runners, of course, a lot more likely in this game. <laughs> well, those aren't the runners he's looking for. Now he picks up the flush draw. So I go reduce just to those three outs. Phil ends up with tens full. Shot deck. Shot deck, shot deck, shot deck. Comes <coughs> in. Oh. You'll check his option, King 10. Jack 10, 10, flop, fireworks incoming, Soizo. Trip 10 zone 9, but Lee out in front with that king kicker. <laughs> Soizo bets 120 into 180. Lee, sure, he's just going to call this bet. As straight draws, flush draws, some Jack X. It's going to call this bet. Well, it's not a bad card for Soiza. King Queen now beats him, but other than that, nothing changes. Ace Queen, Ace King, Ace Jack would have raised pre flop. Probably King Queen as well, so this 300k bet's got to feel pretty good. He's hoping he's up against a hand like King Jack, Queen Jack. I want to stick around here. Bingo on the river for Soiza. He makes that boat. Again, 7-8, Queen-8 now get there, but that's unlikely. Backdoor hearts, of course possible. Jack X of hearts, 100% plays this way. Thank you. Here. So he's trying to calculate his own bluffs. There's some miss spades. Maybe a hand like 8-9, Queen-9. Those are the most likely ones. His value hands are vast though. King-Queen, any 10. Some bluffed hearts that get there. There you go, 650 into a little over a million. And this one not panned out the way Lee expected. It's hard to give Soiza too many bluffs. He's trying to work out. And I think he'll come to the conclusion that he still can beat some value. And like Queen 10. If he bets Queen 10, then you have to call this hand. And that's what he does. You were 10 as well. Bad beat on the river. Just four remain. Seth Davies in the hot seat. He has just 44 antes at this new level. This is event number seven, and this is the short deck. This is a $50,000 buying event. We've lost Greenwood. 
and we lost Raich. Our last champion of the Super High Order Series will be one of those four men. Gonna raise it up, 800k. And he's gonna walk into it here. Soiza moves it in. It's green. It's, um, Seth has committed himself. I'm sorry. I have to reel I think this is, I think this is mine. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we do have an all in and a call. Four long million deck. in chips in the pot. Long deck. Long deck. Soiza will take a commanding lead if he were to win this one. Otherwise, Five Seth seven? would be right back in the mix looking for a seven. Um, well, that not a flop that gives him any excitement. <laughs> Just a seven will do it. All right. Well, drawing dead for the win. Well, I've seen before. Ten mm -hmm. for the chop. Right. Good luck, guys. Not to be Seth Davies. I had a title still here this week. Departs in fourth position. He limps the hijack, ace king. Lee well, checks his option. Ten nine of hearts. Yeah, well, flopper gives it a little something to both. Ivy top pair. That is a bingo turn for Phil. Top two gives Lee gut shot draw and a straight flush draw. As well as, of course, still that one pair, although that holds a little value at this stage. Phil, aware of this board texture. Bet's big, 400. Lee can't do anything but Sorry. cool with his hand. Brick on the river. Pot stands at 1.1 million. Phil feels very comfortable about his hand. Aces raise pre, kings raise pre, king queens raise pre. Only hand he loses to here is jack 10. Perhaps nines. So he goes big, hoping to be up against wicked two pair. Unfortunately for him, it was the missed draw he was up against. Raise it up. The chip's getting to a sort of situation now where, although Phil's doing well, Soiza can start to apply pressure on him. 9 million to 5 million. Well, Lee, not sure much fear. The limp jams, his suited ace. Soiza asked for the count, and this, this is a tough one to call off. It's 2.2, uh, 2, 2.1 million more. Actually, it's getting one and a half to one. He does make the call. No. Well, he, he likes hearing that. No pair. It's good news. Soiza. Hold shot deck. 60% oh, favourite. Full long deck. Yes, yes. Phil. You, say, you might you might have fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> An interested observer. Hold long deck. He wants the hold. And we'll see him get heads up. If not, I believe Lee will take the lead here. An yeah. ace, jack, Some eight. He's taken the lead in the hand. <laughs> Nine not in the long deck. <laughs> no. Nine for a threat. A lot of cards being a draw for Soiza. That, not one of them. <laughs> Just the two outs with one pull. I definitely need insurance. Jack was okay, right? Jack, I really enjoy it. Oh, Jack, you know how it is. 
Queen, no use. Richard Young. 2.59. Comes to have a look. And there you go. Look at the stacks now. Six and a half for Soyuz, a 5.3 for Lee. So a big chunk out of his chip lead. Still does hold the lead. Strong hands here. At the same time, Soyuz has a great hand to potentially bluff with. Holding that 10. Blocks King 10 and 10 9. Who repairs the board? A little concern for Lee. It's always a definitely cool on this block with a hand like Ace-8 or Jack-8 and continue in the same vein. Now made a house. Six seventy five and Soyuz doesn't really have Don't know, is you gone? anything worse than that here, Maybe. so let's that one go. Getting a couple of coolers and Ivy smashes this one. 10 A8, top boat. And it's maybe a spot leader decides he has to continue. He has aces, he has kings, he has queens that the others cannot have. With that range advantage, it's going to be about 400. Of course, Phil's just going to call here. And question is, what happens? down the streets. But Ivy just doesn't have an eight here, calling that raise pre-flop. Lee can give him credit for a 10, but that's about it. Well, it's a queen now, so this changes things a lot. Lee doesn't want to bluff now. Thinks he has the best hand. And it's a weird spot for Phil. He doesn't really have many strong hands. Bet's 800. How much playing? Probably not a bet Lee was expecting to see. Uh, 1.8. Right, thanks. More. Not a good sign. Really awkward spot, in fact. Does he think Phil would bet with a hand like Queen Jack called the flop? Phil can have Jack Nine calling 400 pre flop. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. Just thinks he has the best of it too much. And somehow Ivy has about the only hand that's better than Ace Queen in a set of tens for top boat. Lead, of course, with a couple of outs. This man has got out of a couple of holes. This one would be the toughest eight. so far. Hmm? The 2.8. Okay. No change on the river. Ivy, the new chip leader, up to 7.3 million. Well, they're all having a go with this lead. Let's see what Ivy does with it. That's how things are panning out now. Lee and Soyser with 70 odd antis apiece. Very tight, but it's Phil Ivey now out in front. 117 and perhaps a license to apply pressure. Completes the cutoff. King 10 diamond. Soyser with the worst hand in the game on the button. Checks back, but does take the lead. 
on that Jack-10 line board. <coughs> Phil, though, still a favourite with his second pair, gut shot, backdoor diamonds. Checks through the flop. Checks to Soiza again on the turn. I could see him doing both here. That hand is so vulnerable. Bets 100k. And we definitely have some eights here. Okay. Although with a pair and a gut shot to the highest straight, isn't going to fold just yet. Well, board runs out as straight. Need a player have too much queen x here the way this one's played. Phil with perhaps slightly more. He could have queen 9, queen 10 that play this way. And there you go, that's 300. Lee limps in and now here we go Phil with chip lead it's going to put some pressure on him and he does elect to call take this to a flop and he has less than three times the pot behind tough to navigate post flop with eights in short deck gets a lot easier when the flop comes 10-8-8 Pretty much the same as we saw earlier when Phil had 10s on this kind of board. And Lee doesn't have too much of this, having limp called a raise. That card does change things a little bit. He can have hands like King Jack, Queen Jack. Queen Jack, of course, would be a straight now. King Jack would be a hand that wants to continue. He has to feel like Phil can have some hands here as well. Not many hands have missed this one that Phil raised with. 250k bet begging for a call. That's exactly what he's going to get. Phil needing a six or jack for a straight that, of course, will be no good. And while he's found a jack, does bring diamonds. Lee praying that's what Ivy's found on the end. See Lee sneaking a little check here. Ivy doesn't have, I don't think, a whole lot of Queen X. More Jack X. Mm, it's going to bluff some hands. Go big, that's what he's done. 1.2 million. Phil, he's been around the block. He's not paying that off. So he's a Queen's and hijack. Looks like he's gonna go for the limp jam. Oh, looks like he's going go for the limp call. Cool. Lee moves in, Jack 10 suited. Ivy folds, Soiza snaps. And well, once more, Lee is all in at risk. How will he fare this time? It's probably the worst card. Yeah. I'm going to run to the bathroom. <laughs> you better hope I win, bro. Such is the life of Phil Ivey. He's not hanging around to watch this one. He says, I'm off to the bathroom. King, 10, 6, 1 spade. Doesn't really change the equity too much oh. here. Only a three to one dog. 
Well, there it is. Jank on the turn puts him in the lead, but you see, still an underdog. Soiza can hit a king, six, ace, queen, nine. Eight, nine, seven. Can Jack. he hold on one more time? No, is the answer. This time, the yeah. river Game. doesn't cooperate. Well, a good run from the Malaysian. And well, they're over 100 anties deep. Phil will start with a deficit. Soiza regaining his lead that he's had for most of this final table. They completes Queen Six of Hearts. Soiza. I'm going to raise the first hand heads up, and that will be the end of this one. Queen Six, not a hand Phil can continue with. Well, I say that. He's reaching for chips. This is a very bad hand. But he is going to see the flop for what is just over a 3x and a position. Seven seven six, an unlikely board for Phil to have hit, but he has done just that. So he has a little bit more of that, having been the preflop raiser. He's a wider range. Check calling this flop. Picks up hearts on the turn. Check, Check once again. I think Soiza was a one and done situation on this flop. of rivers a king but it's bad news it's ivy makes the flush every reason for phil ivy to believe that soiza has connected with some part of this now he was the pre-flop raiser he bet the flop he chipped the turn he has some king x he has even some jack x that may have elected to check the turn ivy bets big that's the pot, 1.2 million. He has some bluffs. 8, 9, 8, 10, 9, 10. You're going to want a bluff. Unfortunately for him, Soiza has a 9, which makes it one of the worst handsome to call with. On the flip, he does have the 9 of hearts, so he blocks some of those hands that may have made flushes. And there you go. That is why he calls it off. Flush, is it? Yeah. Just a flush yeah. until easy game. So one hand into heads up and Ivy has now taken the lead. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> this will be fucking tough if you shove. Maybe I do, I don't know. It's Phil Ivy bro, you know, you gotta make the tough calls, you know. Okay, Phil was thinking about it. Maybe I do. How much? One second.
So leading into this one, 160. Michael. Well, it looks like a nice hand. Queen on a clubs, eight clubs on board, a couple of kings, but I think hard to call this one. Doesn't think it's too hard to raise it though. Here we go. Phil definitely following this one. Just doesn't want to do it too quickly. Make it seem too easy to bluff this man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. With the, just the back door draws, Phil's going to stick around. This reps a king very well. He thinks Soyz is bluffing. If Soyz gives up on this turn, Phil's going to steal this one on the river. Tell you what, guys, we are in for a match here. Two bets and going with these two hands on the flop. Phil doesn't have to go big here. He doesn't have many bluffs. He bet called this flop, remember? He just gets to have a lot of kings. Well, he is going big. I'm not the biggest fan of that sizing. I don't think it's necessary, but I think in this instance, any sizing is going to work. It's pretty clear. Soyz is bluffing by the end. Maybe, of course, going to call with top pair. Six on the turn. Not a card that Soyz was looking for. One of the worst. He could see, really. Perhaps he's going to fire again. As you see, against the hand he's up against. Still has decent equity, so if he can make a jack fold, it'd be a very worthwhile bet. There you go, he's sizing up a little bit, 375. And as I say, this would make it hard for Phil with a jack. Of course, with a queen, you won't be going anywhere. Nine in his hand, not ideal. You'd want Soyza to have a hand like 8-9 or 10-9. To make this uh, bluff. Wow, 10 on the end. Does bring diamonds. Not too concerning. Soyza with Broadway. Now has to be pretty sure Phil has a hand, like at least the queen. So he's going to size up. One point one. Now Phil has the nine. Phil has a diamond again. Not the worst candidate to run a big bluff, although it's not as good as the last one. Still beats what? King 10, still beats 10 9. 8 9 gets there, East King gets there. That's a tough spot for Phil for sure. There's a diamond, blocks some straights. That's top pair, blocks two pairs, Queen's up. And cannot fault him for that call. Good air. But he has a very nice hand here. King, Queen of Hearts on the button. Be seeing this raised for sure when it's limped to him.
Bingo, flop for Phil. Jack, nine of hearts. Gives him a gut shot straight flush draw. Michael, second pair and a gut shot draw himself on a board that... Wow, he just moved it in. A pair and a gut shot. A pair and a gut shot. Well, you're ahead, but you're a big underdog. Phil Ivey. With a myriad of outs. 70% to get there in this pot. Not the hand Michael wanted to see when he was called. He take his chances against a big pair, I need but not against those 14 outs. With no heart. This the same cut with Whitey against Palomo. Yeah, yeah. Same cut as Palomo. Same. Same. All right, Jack on the turn. He's halfway there, and it is now a straight flip. <laughs> Phil, so close the other day, needs this to have a chance to win this title. There it is. Ooh. Not flush no. on the end. <laughs> and, well, by far and away the biggest pot of the tournament, 13 million chips. Michael, below the three million chip mark, and we're playing with an ante of 150K. He is down to fumes. does move it in dun, 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 dun. and he's not going to get action from king seven oh sorry michael 2.3 million chips oh, he's thinking about it See against a hand like he's up against. He still has over 40% equity. And so he does decide to gamble. There we go. He knows Phil can have Jack 10, Queen 9, hands like this. And he says, you know what, King High, let's go. Phil Ivey with the slender lead, holding a6 of hearts. Trying to avenge his bad fortune from two days ago. Wow, a huge flop for him. King, oh, Jack, eight, flop. two hearts. But it is Soiza now, spicy, who again is in a straight 50-50, holding that top pair. Phil says it's always spicy. He just won a 50-50 a moment ago. Heading to the river now, a two to one dog. But he does pick up. Some extra outs. Doesn't need him. Makes a flushy yet again. Two not heart flushes for Phil Ivey. In the space of a few hands. It means we crown our final champion. And it is Phil Ivey, the GOAT, walking out the winner. Michael Souza. Well, he had to wait a while for a cash this week. It came in event seven, and it's for over half a million dollars. For second place, always bittersweet. He came in as the chip leader. He held that chip lead for much of the final, went shoulders with three left, came back, got the chip lead, but eventually succumbed to the champion, Phil Ivey. Phil, well, it was his third cash of the week, but clearly his largest, picking up $856,000, as well as, of course, his first title since what, May 2018. Guys, let me introduce you our new champion, Phil Ivey. You hope our congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what a life you are with a trophy in Russia next to a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. That's pretty, that funny. With another beautiful mo woman behind the camera. Yes. Great be life, be yeah? Beautiful women everywhere. Yeah. Uh, when was your last win? Uh, I don't even remember. I mean, <laughs> when, when was my last win? I don't know. You have to look it up. It's been a while. What are you feeling now? Uh, feeling pretty good. You know, I'm looking forward to playing the next tournament <laughs> whenever, you know, you let me. 20, 30 minutes and yeah, <laughs> you yeah, can yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your first live major event? Do I remember? I think so. Yeah, I remember. Can you tell us? Uh, it was in Turning Stone. Um, at a tournament in New York, like, ooh, a very long time ago. Can you tell us a bit about your regular life besides poker? Uh, my regular life. Yeah, well, um, these days I've been golfing. Um, 
just hanging out, hanging out with my family, mm -hmm. um, traveling a little bit, mm -hmm. reading a little bit. You know, just I live. Yeah, a, I live, yeah, I live a pretty. What do you good. like to read? Um, I like to read like psycho babble books, mm -hmm. books on psychology, stuff like that. By the way, about reading and about poker again, uh, how do you study poker? Do you still study it? Not really, but I have to start. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start studying very soon. What is your main aim in your life now? My main aim in my life, um, I just want to be. I just want to live every day in the moment. You know, I want to try to stay present. You know. I'm all about trying to stay present as much as possible um, and um, just live in the now. That's, cool. that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, Phil, you said that you read a lot of psychology book now. In your opinion, what is the best book? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reading a book called Game Changers. It's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's about biohacking. That's interesting. Yeah. By the way, all of us in Russia, I mean, are very crazy about it as well now. Yeah, it's oh, a very popular theme. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm looking into that stuff. It's very interesting. Yeah. It's okay. very intriguing. Uh, Phil, last two questions. Can you imagine your life in five years? No, I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't really like. Um, I don't really like. I, again, you know, I like to really just stay in the moment and enjoy now. You know, mm -hmm. I don't really think about what's what's going to be like in five years. Are you happy? I am. Yeah, I'm pretty happy now. That's great. Thank you. Are you? Mm -hmm. Too. You always look happy. Yeah, I know. All uh, okay. Just uh, we will just cut it. We saw that every day you change your caps and all these caps about Ru about Sochi and Russia. Uh, what do you think about uh, if we will take this your cap? And our the luckiest follower will get it. Yes, I mm -hmm. give it to Can you. I give it to you. I give it to you Please. after. I give it to you after the tournament. Okay. 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 Promise. Guys, this cap, lucky cap from Philadelphia. Our congratulations again. All right. Thank you. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And for the photo, please.